I do. Vlog life, Eric Tate Source Nation. Jay the legend. Yep, get those scaps down. Really try to depress the scaps as best you can when you're holding it, right? You're kind of, your, your shoulders are forward a little bit. You've got to get your scaps depressed a little bit more. When you depress your scaps, you push your elbows into a better push position. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Eric Johnson from Airte Throws Nation. In this video, we're gonna kind of go through, show you what it kind of looks like inside the weight room to improve that efficiency and shore up all those little weaknesses in the throw. So each athlete is gonna have their specific thing. Sarah, pretty good example. Mason's one of our more advanced guys. He's been getting a little bigger and stronger. So here we're actually trying to teach Mason how to like actually flex. We wanna teach him to actually contract those abs a little bit, like standing band crunch to make him feel how to kind of isolated contraction yeah, and know. create some flexion. Are you starting to feel your abs yet? I can't feel it. Okay, good. But okay. my abs are just so strong. <laughs> Pull the elbows down a little bit more. So it's more like this, Jay. Yeah, you're going to feel elbows there. There you go. You're going to be pulling, right? When you pull, you have to pick up your feet to get under the bar. You drop the weight. You're pulling against the weight to pull you under. Stay tight, under it. So you're getting to here, you're pulling too early. You gotta pull higher. Let's go, Sarah, stay tight. Up, it's close. This is gonna be a big change for you. If you do this the way you did, you kinda like, you're not getting your hips through, extend all the way through with your ass stays on top of your feet. So here we had Sarah, we we're trying to do a little max effort day, see what she could kind of do. And she has a tendency to, you know, start her pull too early. She just kind of got back into it. You know, she doesn't know how to keep her back tight and her shoulders retracted and down. These are some things that we're going to be working on. That's some isolated, you know, uh, assistance work that we're going to be doing to help her improve and develop her explosive ability better. Step, rewrap. Get your shoulders back. Yeah. So this past year, we changed Mason's technique, we just started pushing him to an offset. So that changed up the pillar one and the pillar two. So we've been spending those Mondays working his key transition differences in a little bit longer pillar two so that he can create more speed and hopefully add some bigger distances than what we would have planned on. Under it, up, up, elbows up. Shoulders back, elbows up, better. Good, keep them up, that was better. Punch it out. Elbows in, see elbows just went this way that time. Drive them in. Same thing, left knee, keep it long. Long on this path, keep it going. Right there's when it opens. So the knee can come around. Yeah. That was, that was a lot closer. You feel the little pull? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that was much better. Yeah, yeah, it's super subtle. When you unwind, we used to do this more. Now you're gonna keep it on the ground a little bit longer. So here, what we've been doing with Mason is we changed him to an offset in an attempt to create more speed to increase distance. Mason's already pretty quick, but we wanted to kind of work on a more dynamic path. He's kind of got the body type and the athleticism to do it. It's starting to come together. So he's starting to move in the start better, and we just haven't timed up the finish yet, but it's all starting to come together quite nicely. It throws out in training event very good as well. You gotta make sure you don't do this weird thing where your hip still collapses and you're just kind of doing this. That was better. Keep the heel a little lower. It was closer. So when you wind, the heel comes up. I'd wind up, see the heels up here? So nose on top of the foot, and then I would come down. 
on the unwind on the big toe. This is where you tend to be. You tend to go like this, up. So your shoulders are falling. So then you have to do this, and then there's you're not sprinting. Does that make sense? Keep your heel low, big toe. That was closer. Yeah, now you're starting to get stretch. Much better. Ah, that wasn't bad. That was good. Go long, reach to me. Reach, yep, good. That I liked a lot. 